As of the time I am recording and uploading this, Magic Coins are still in beta testing, but a lot more people have them after the start of Season 6 of the Treasure Track than they used to. So it is almost out of beta testing. We do not know exactly when it will be released to everyone, but Magic Coins are here for a lot of people. So in this video, I'm going to go over, of course, their uses and how to get them as quickly as you can in Prodigy, especially for those who have just received the update and might not know that much about it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So Magic Coins were added earlier this year into beta testing and they are a new type of currency that you can see in your backpack and uh, you'll pretty much see them like everywhere in your like pet section in uh, shops sometimes but if we go over to currency here they are magic coins i have about 3700 of them right now um magic coin here it is it's just a large pile as it shows uh, as its uh, icon right there its description says Magicoin is a special currency found in Treasure Track. Use them to evolve your pets and capture new ones. And just as that description says, that is the those are the purposes of Magicoins. They allow you to evolve pets and capture new pets. So the important thing here is that this is this allows uh, uh, non-members to rescue more pets than they used to be able to, and it allows non-members to evolve their pets. So evolving pets and rescuing a bunch of pets is no longer members only, which is one reason that Prodigy has it's done. Prodigy has given a lot to non-members recently, and this is just an example of that. So um, very important. I'm going to go to a pet. I'm going to choose Evil Lotus, mainly because I want to just show off how cool it looks with its new HD appearance. But, um, as it'll show right here, when we click Evolve Pet, we're going to see that it costs these new Magic Coins. So it says at the top how many you have, and then at the bottom it says Evolve Pet, and above that it says it costs 50 Magic Coins. Now this number is going to vary depending on the uh, evolution, evolo, evolotus, I'm trying to say evolotus, evolution status and its uh, rarity as a pet as well. So they uh, sometimes are the same, that one is 50 for Arctic Claw, sometimes they're the same but sometimes they're different depending on, well, their statuses. Arboreal to evolve to Vine Queen is 65 magic coins. So, yeah, as you see, they definitely vary a lot. Evolving Snoots cost 30 Magic Coins. So, yeah, it's uh, that's pretty much what it is. Um, they just vary. Uh, it can go up pretty high, though. Um, especially for rescuing pets, which we'll get to in a second. Infernoot to evolve into Ember Shed, the most evolutions in Prodigy right now, cost 100 Magic Coins just to do the final evolution. So, this is fair to both non-members and members because everyone has to use magic coins, including members. So, it's not like uh, they just made a currency for non-members to use. Everyone has to use it all the same. Um, and as we are going to go check out now, they are also, of course, used to re rescue more pets. Um, that combined with the pet slots update, which as far as I know is still in beta testing, uh, allows you to uh, rescue more pets than you used to be able to. So it costs magic coin to rescue a pet. Again, it varies based on the pet's rarity and, um, well, evolution status already. So usually single evolution pets cost zero magic coins. See, uh, Trip Trop, it shows up here when you click Pet Rescue, it shows zero magic coins. It also shows how many you've owned, which is cool, or currently own, which is cool. Um, but single evolution pets usually cost zero. I, uh, it's pretty much true for almost everything, not, probably not every single evolution pet, but, um, the more evolutions you have, uh, well, the more evolutions the pet is, that doesn't make much sense. The more the evolution status of the pet uh, is part of what determines its uh, magic coin cost. 
so if, if that makes sense um yeah we're just going to finish this out real quick and um see uh what the forest sneak is going to cost i'm assuming again like i said it's going to be zero because that's what they usually are not a yeah uh pets that aren't evolved usually cost zero and um evolved pets cost more to rescue so anyway yeah that is the function of magic coins they allow you to evolve and rescue pets which is especially important for non-members as that is something that they used to not be able to do so it's a big deal that prodigy has allowed non-members to do this and i still hear people prodigy being more pay to win which is definitely not true especially with this update see snoots here also has zero so that just proves my point on that part but there are plenty of other pets that are going to have a lot more magic coins if you understand what i mean you can go check these out in game for yourself if you have the update so like i said it's it's been given to a lot of people now but i know it's still in beta testing so hopefully it will be released to everyone quite soon and this will apply to everyone once they have it but um of course we have to still talk about how to get them they are received through the treasure track so this is a seasonal uh well like a seasonal uh i guess reward system that uh happens every like month to two months depending on how long the season lasts but they are the magic coins are spread out throughout the different treasures almost every treasure has at least one thing of magic coins in it either for non-members members or ultra members plus members or ultra members um so yes sometimes non-members can get them and then of course anything that is in the member section uh members plus members or ultra members can get along with the ones in the non-member section so um as you'll see they're just spread out throughout usually in uh quantities of like 30 to 60 is usually what they are um just depends on the treasure and whatever amount they have um i do think that non-members should probably be getting more than they actually are currently in each treasure track because you have to build up magic coins in order to um rescue your pets and evolve them so um non-members are obviously going to not get as much magic coins as members are and um you should be getting enough though if you're a non-member to uh sustain your evolving and rescuing uh uh pets uh ambitions if you play the treasure track enough because it's very important that you complete each treasure track if you want to get the maximum amount of magic coin that you can you have to complete each season of the treasure track which means playing a lot and completing all of your quests the daily ones weekly ones season ones and bonus ones when they unlock and i currently have not yet done that i am just taking my time on this one because i don't have much time but um i will be completing it as soon as i can um but yes it's, it's very important that you complete each treasure track so that you can get them as quickly as you can you have to um to get the maximum amount you have to get all the way to treasure 60 or 30 or whatever the um maximum amount ends up being for that particular season but um so yeah another option if you want more magic coins as a non-member then you could get a membership but it's totally understandable if you cannot get a membership um you could also get the new uh plus membership which gives you about i think 800 or 880 or so magic coin per season or month or something um i don't currently have that but if you would like more magic coin then that is a way to get more as well but those are pretty much the methods for getting a bunch of magic coin it's really that simple just complete each season of the treasure track they give you plenty of time to do so so if you play a lot and complete each season then you should be getting plenty of magic coin whether you're a non-member a member or a, a, a plus member 
and when I said uh, plus member earlier, when talking about the uh, 880 magic coin, it's for ultra member. So that's what I meant. Um, but yeah, so those are the methods. It's obtained only through the treasure track as of this point, and they are used to evolve pets and rescue new ones for all players. What do you think about magic coins? Do you have the update yet? And how are you liking it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.